What is going on guys? I have Notorious Blaze and I'm here doing the spaceship packages. So basically I'm gonna have five different episodes and it's gonna be doing all of the packages but it's just gonna be ten of them in each different episode and there's fifty of them. So first off you gotta come over here and talk to this guy. He is uh, one of the freaks and strangers for Franklin. So let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say. Wait. 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 Stop. What's the problem, Holmes? Huh? Wait. Carbon-based life form. Check. Six feet tall. Check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue. Normal distribution. Check. Readings are... Readings are... This little machine is broken again. Check. Star date 14 9 305. Time is 789 past the Mank Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon based life form. Greetings, home. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings. And out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? Hmm? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. So as you can see, guys, real weird, strange motherfucker. But, you know, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get into package number one. It is over here by the airport. Now, it is behind the cargo bay. Well, not cargo bay, but hangar. And uh, as soon as you enter the airport, if you have not bought that hangar, you instantly get three stars. So just be careful for that. Right now, I have four, as you can see. But there's that package right behind that hangar. Not hard to find. It's actually just laying out in the open. All right, now number two, if, yeah, is going to basically be right here. I don't know how to explain it. Just go to this location, and you will see these, like, two things right here, two circular things, and just go climb up on the right-hand side. I think you can do it on the left-hand side, too, but I know the right-hand side is the easiest way, or one of the ways, not the easiest. And as you can see, I'm climbing the stairs. I'm going all the way to the top. And when you get up there, you will got, climb onto the pipe that is in between the two, basically. So you're going to be getting on that pipe right there. And it should be in the middle, I do believe. If my, if my stupid self would actually... Okay. So as you can tell, you climb up here, you climb down onto the pipe. Then you sprint over to the package. And here is number two. Now... For package number three, I had to speed up this one part a little bit, but I also wanted to show you guys where it was, and I jumped off here, sorry. But alright, it's right there on that. I marked it. Now, I had to speed it up right here because I went swimming and decided not to go all the way around. So, yeah. Shows how much I didn't want to do, and I also couldn't really find my way up. So, you know, it kind of worked out. Okay, so now you dive into the water, and you see it right there, it's just glowing in the water. It's easy to see, easy to spot, you cannot miss it. It is probably, well, you can actually miss it pretty easy if you're not underwater, but yes. That is one of the collectibles under the water. Now let's move on over to number four. Yes, and it's going to be right next to it on a beach, except it's not a beach, it's actually a pile of rocks which is pretty easy to find and it's laying right there on that thing I got this at nighttime and while it's raining 
So yeah. Now the fifth. The fifth one is right close to that. It's not far from it. See you from there to there. You're not far. It's pretty easy to get to, and it's pretty out in the open too, but not really that much in the open. So let's sprint over here to where we need to go, and you will see what I'm talking about. It's really right there. I kind of went by it and had to jump out and turn around and whatnot. See, it's right there. It's just in the sewer. It's pretty easy to find. Pretty easy. Now, for the sixth one, can't remember. I think it's pretty easy. I think. Uh, yeah guys yeah this is an easy one too yeah my bad this is this probably I think this is the easiest one that I found so far all you gotta do is just run in here and sitting right there about the easiest one to ever find but you gotta also like I think you have to talk to that dude first and now let's go ahead and move on to the seventh one which is right here in the middle of an industrial area and I found the easiest is to come from that road right there that you're looking at and pull in right there and then just all you have to do is sprint right back and into this red crate right here they red or green crate it's both it's rusted and there's package sure, number seven whatever. and now we're gonna move to number eight and it is just man bam it should be if I'm not mistaken I think it's a hospital Yes, it's the hospital. Alright, so you're going to climb this ladder. So you're going to have two ladders that you have to climb. You have to climb this one, and then there's one to your right that you have to climb, which is really not hard to get some of these things. They're pretty easy, pretty out in the open if you uh, go and explore, I guess you can say. But uh, in a plane, they would be pretty hard to find. In a helicopter, you'd have to be flying pretty low and pretty slow. But that's about it so you're gonna get to the top of this you're gonna get to the helipad and they're right here between these two boxes or two air vents whatever they are there's something they're there they're just there and then you know shortly after you can just jump up here and then just like flop to your death here because you're right next to the hospital man you don't have to do nothing and there you go voila so as we move over to number nine it is right next I want to say the strip club <laughs> yeah it's right next to the strip club I can see it ah so with it being right next to the strip club guys pretty no you know you're gonna spend your whole life there in this game so I mean you might as well know where it is so off from the strip club you're gonna take off dead sprinting under this bridge and this is where like the homeless people that have been kicked out the hobos all that kind of stuff live and you're just gonna run straight back you're gonna jump over this or you can walk around and bam it's right there next in front of the couch right in front of the couch easy as that and then you know you can just sprint out again like I did now let's go to number 10 number 10 oh yeah I had to beat this guy up I just had to do it because he just started it this is what happens when you mess with Franklin on the side of street guys you just get your you just get beat up look at that <laughs> I just had to I don't know why I threw it in there I'm sorry but it is not too far, but it's close to Vespucci Beach or something like I can never say the name correct. Y'all might correct me on that anyways. But it's close to the boat harbor that you can buy from Michael or Franklin. Now you're going to run down these stairs behind this shop. And you're going to, you know, see a good looking girl here, which is a little fat. Not saying nothing wrong with that. She's a little fat, but she still looks good. You're going to climb this. I have no idea what it is now. I had it on my mind billboard thing <laughs> yeah you're gonna climb a billboard thing and it should be literally right up here behind these billboards and yeah so thank you guys for watching the first episode on finding the space parts if you like this give it a like comment if you found more in a place that I haven't peace guys and now all you have to do is literally just spring yourself off this because I do it every time we splat <laughs> alright guys peace hope this was enjoyable